Hey everybody, it's MMFQ Death here, and today we're back with another installation tutorial for a mod for Minecraft. Uh, today's tutorial is going to be on Industrial Craft 2 by Alblaka. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, I apologize if I'm not. Uh, now this is Industrial Craft 2 version 1.71 for uh, single player. I'm not going to do the SMP version, uh, maybe at a later time or so. Alright, so first off, how to install is you need to download Risigami's Mod Loader 1.1, <coughs> Plans Mod Loader MP Client 1.1, and Space Toads MC Forge Client 1.3.3 for Minecraft 1.1. Then you need to download this link here, which is the uh, industrialcraft 2jar So once you get all those, you're also going to need a free archiver utility such as WinRAR or 7-Zip. Now, these are really easy to come by. Both can be downloaded for free. I will have both of them linked in the description to this video, uh, as well as Minecraft Forge, Industrial Craft, and uh, both of the different mod loaders links in the description as well. All right, guys, so let's jump in here. So now the first thing you're going to do is hit Windows key R after downloading all those files. Don't forget that. And type in this right here, percent app data percent. I'll zoom in on that during editing. All right, so now it'll take you here to the roaming folder. You'll see .minecraft up here at the top. If it's not there, then just run Minecraft, sign in, and it should appear there. So now open that up. And now the first thing you're going to do is right click, hit new, folder, and type in mods. All right, so let's just get that out of the way. Open up bin. And then you'll see Minecraft.jar. Right click it. It. Oops. Open with your archiver utility. Now, if it is uh, 7-zip, it won't be open with. If it's 7-zip, um, when you right click on it, it'll just have another menu right above open with. And it'll say 7-zip with an arrow, and you can just open archive like that. Now, I'm using WinRAR today, so if you're using WinRAR, you will actually get to see exactly what I do. The only difference is these icons up here will be different for you guys. All right, so anyway, meta inf, automatically click it, hit delete on your keyboard, and hit enter. You do not want that there. Uh, though That staying there is what causes black screens. So now here is the proper, <coughs> um, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, well, we'll figure it out as we go. Uh, the proper, um, Wow, I can, I'm really blanking on that word. Anyway, uh, this is the one you do first. Mod loader does zip. Always do mod loader first, just drag and drop into the dot jar. Then do mod loader MP. Um, and the reason you have to do certain ones first is because uh, mod loader MC Forge and mod loader MP and various other things overwrite certain dot class files that other ones use. And mod loader. Um, is meant to have that done to it. So, you can always know that you're going to do mod loader first. At least I've never seen a mod that you don't. But after you drag those three in to the dot jar, just close it. You're done. Not entirely, but you're done with that part. Now, um, what you're going to do is you're going to go back. And now there's two ways to get this mod mods folder. You can either do what I did. And both ways work identical. It's just this to me seems easier or after you install mod loader you can run minecraft and it will automatically be created but as long as you type it in all lowercase letters you're fine then just drag the industrial craft 2 dot jar right in here and that's it that's the industrial craft 2 installation pretty simple i know but all right you guys one last thing i'm going to cut this part out but I will be right back. I'm going to go install too many items. And, yeah. Well, you know what? Actually, before I do that, let's open up Minecraft and run it just to see before too many items that we load up and we did the installation correctly. So we got the Mojang screen. That's a good thing. But sometimes that doesn't actually mean you're completely done. All right. So let's just call this IC2 and create new world. Alright, well we loaded up perfectly fine, 
far as I can tell. I don't see any problems here. Um, all right, you guys. Hold on one second. Like I said, going to go install too many items, and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, we're back, and now this time we're in Minecraft. So let's go in here, open up IC2, and let the world render a little bit. Uh, let's press E to open up my inventory with too many items on now. It's out of my way achievement. And now you can see that the installation was definitely successful. Uh, we have all of the machines, the new ores, some of this stuff. I haven't played Industrial Craft in quite some time, so some of this stuff is complete gibberish to me. I have no idea what any of it is. Um, like before, last time I played it, they didn't even have these blocks. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, uh, at, like I said, you can see it worked. Um, it's installed, so have fun playing Industrial Craft, and yeah, uh, hopefully you guys will check out my channel, see some of, whoa, what are those? Oh, Nano Sabers, that's kind of neat. Alright, anyway, hopefully you guys will check out my channel and maybe see, God, cow, you're so loud. Where? Come here. Some cow. Alright, but anyway, hopefully you guys will check out my channel and see some of my other videos, and uh, please thumbs up down below if you liked it, or if it helped you at all. It really helps my channel grow. Um, and if you guys can, leave a comment. That always is fun, I guess. I try to reply to most of them. Alright, you guys. Um, see you guys later. This is MMFQ Death. So, bye guys.